Hello everyone. Any website that you see on internet can be of two types or a mix of both. So broadly we can define any website in two categories. One is a static website, another is a dynamic website. Or you may have a website with mix up of static and dynamic pages. Now, what do you mean by static website? In early days, we used to have website only for information sharing. Any user access the website will get the same information. So that is a static website. The best example could be contact us page. The address on contact us page is static. So any user who is accessing contact us page will have the same address data with them. So user may be from any location throughout the world will get the same content. So that is a static website. Dynamic website. Normally dynamic websites will have interactive forms. So the data on the page is rendered as per the user request. Best example could be Google. Now you have a form on the Google. So whatever you type on the Google text box, you get that particular data. So that is dynamic website. So let us see its difference. Static web pages have same content to any user anywhere. Requires web development expertise to update the site. Now whenever I want to update the content, we need a web developer who update the content on the server. Then it gets reflected to all the users. Site not as useful for the users because you have the same data and data may get old or it can get stagnant. So on the other hand, we have dynamic web pages or dynamic website. Content may differ as per the user request and location. Much more functional website, much easier to update. New content brings people back to the site and helps in the search engine because normally these kind of websites, the end user itself can update the content. So it is easier. But as of now in this course, we will try to understand a static website. We will create a static website and we will also see how to create a dynamic page. Basically dynamic page requires a form where you should have all the controls. So we will see the forms tag and the various elements inside the form. So whenever we want to interact with the end user, basically we need a form and forms can be created with the following form tags. So field set, it is really good, which, which, which will make your form looks good, great. So legend, input tag, option, text area, button and select. So we will see all these tags and using all these tags, we will try to create a very beautiful form. So I'm going to show that form which I have created. Then in the next video, we will see how to create that form. So here we have a beautiful registration form where you have text box, normal text box and a password text box, a radio button list. You can say or multiple radio buttons. Then you have a text area where you can add the address and you have a drop down list. You have skill set that is multi select list box and you have file upload control and you have check box and a reset button which will reset everything to the initial content or the default values and you have a submit button which will submit this form to the server. So in our next video, we will see how to create this form and we will understand all these controls, how to create all these controls. So this is your field set tag. We call it as field set tag and this is legend. In legend, we write the title. So we will see how to create this form and how to create all these controls in our next video. That's it for this video. Thank you very much.